Greetings to all those who are watching this video. I am Survi Sahu from class 9B. Today I am going to illustrate a project on the topic origami fun and mathematics where I will try to prove Pythagoras theorem with the help of origami. So first of all let's know what is origami. For that we will make a pyramid. So let's start. So here we can see the pyramid. Similarly, we can make cube, prism and many more three-dimensional shapes. So from these examples, we can define origami as the art of paper folding where we can find angles, lines and areas of the models. Now, today I will do a very interesting thing. I will try to prove Pythagoras theorem with the help of the lines we get after unfolding a paper board. So for that, today I will make two paper boards, one with a square sheet of paper and one with a rectangular sheet of paper. So let's start with a square sheet of paper. So here we can see the board. Similarly, if we will make a board with this triangular sheet of paper, we will get something like this. Now, if we will unfold these paper boards, we will get these type of lines. Here, in this rectangular sheet of paper, we will get 20 small squares. And here, in the square sheet of paper, we will get 16 small squares. So, let us assume that each side of these small square is one unit. So, let us take... triangle ABC here to prove Pythagoras theorem here AB would be one unit as we can see that here one small square is there and we have assumed each sides of the square as one unit so AB would be one unit similarly if we will see this BC here also one small square is formed and each side of the square is one unit so BC would be one unit now in this AC side we can see that a big square is formed. Here it is the sum of two small square, one this and one this part. So the area of the square would be two unit, two square units and each side would be root two units. Now let us put all these values in Pythagoras theorem and see whether it is proved or not. So according to Pythagoras theorem, AB square plus BC square is equals to AC square. So let's put all the values that we have get. Hence the Pythagoras theorem is proved. So now let us assume 
take this rectangular sheet of paper here we can see that we are having a triangle pqr here pq would be one unit as here one square is formed and each side of the square is one unit similarly in this qr side we can see that two squares are formed so here it is one unit here it is one unit in total it will be two units now in this pr side we can see that a big square is formed which is the sum of five small squares so let us see how it is the sum of five small square if we will consider this part here it is forming a square if we will assume this part to be here then we can see see that a perfect square is formed so this part would be one square similarly if we will consider this part here if we will cut this part from here and assume it to be here then a perfect square would be formed so this part would also be a square similarly here if we will see here then if we will cut this part from here and if we will put it here then we can see that a perfect square will be formed so it is also a square now similarly here also we can see that if we will cut this part from here and if we will put it here then a perfect square is formed so it is also a square and this middle part is the fifth square so the area of the square would be five square units and each side would be root five now let us put all these values in Pythagoras theorem Hence, we can see that the Pythagoras theorem is proved. So, from these, we can tell that we can prove Pythagoras theorem with the help of origami. Similarly, we can prove algebraic identities and many other theorems of mathematics with the use of origami. Moreover, through origami, we can learn mathematics in a very enjoyable manner. Thank you.